Hi, I'm Jamie. And I'm Cindy. And together, together we're, we're the, the Bitty Buddies. buddies. <laughs> so here's a cool thing about living in Florida. There's water everywhere, so... <laughs> You can see beautiful sunrises over the water, as you saw in our Cocoa Beach video, and beautiful sunsets, whether it's on a river, a mm -hmm. lake, lake, the Gulf. Uh, really pretty sunsets here in Florida, and usually any tourist destination spot has sunset tours. We did the one in Key West, then we did a lake in Mount Dora, and then we went over to the Gulf Coast and did the pirate cruise. So our first one, was the Key West tour that we took with a lot of family and friends. Right, so watch mm -hmm. the, there is an, a separate video for the Key West Sunset Cruise. I'll post a link to it. Getting ready to go on the Key West cocktail cruise on this 47 foot catamaran called The Good Times. West one I would recommend just because it was a good time laid back mm -hmm. I think that was an adult only one it was an adult only one uh, you could get different levels so you could you could pay a lot more to get mixed drinks we paid the middle price so we had beer and wine um, on board and you can take your own food if you want like a bring some shark tutory or shark yeah. or something like that well he talked we were going past the naval base okay so he told so we talked about that mm -hmm. um, Talked about some rich people that had lived in the area. That's right, yeah. And then we were shown the Mallory Square from the water side. Right, and Mallory Square, for those of you that don't know, is a famous square at the end of Duval Street in Key West where they have a sunset festival every night. They have buskers and people go there to watch the sunset. So I would definitely recommend Key West. What do you think? I thought it was great. A good time, good ride. Mm -hmm. Not the most spectacular sunset I've ever seen. No, but that's depending on the weather. But good friends, good times. We would definitely give Key West Sunset Cruise. If you're going down to Key West, that would be one of the highlights of your trip. Agreed. So Very enjoy. much so. Do it. Yeah. Uh, Mount Dora, I really enjoyed Mount Dora too. I enjoyed Mount Dora. Mount Dora is a little town in the middle of the state. Um, and obviously it's on a lake because we went, <laughs> it's on a chain of lakes. Right. So you're not just confined to one lake. And there's a Mount Dora video you can watch where mm -hmm. we talk about all of the kind, different kinds of things mm -hmm. there are to do in Mount Dora. There's cat boats and air, air, what do they call those? Air sea planes. Sea planes, oh yeah, can't <laughs> wait to do that. Yeah. So lots of things to do there. It's a great little mm -hmm. town, but in particular, the Sunset Cruise, I bought a Groupon um, for four people, which equaled to about $14 a person. So that's a good price reasonable. for a Sunset Cruise. So yeah, look for Groupon and all those other little living social things. Right. And you can usually find something in Mount Dora that's comparable. There are several companies that do it. This one was a good company. It was on a pontoon boat. Again, there were some little kids. Um, it was a very quiet ride. Yeah. There's no music playing, whereas the Key West was, there was lots of music. Raucous. Um, and it's actually quite helpful for us if there's not music playing yeah. because we can't record and have copyright issues right. with yeah. uh, other people's copyright music playing. So that was handy. Yeah. 
and <laughs> it kept the vibe kind of on the down low. Yeah, it was so pretty it mellow. So it was very relaxing, um, very professional people. And we Welcome to the Mount Dora Sunset Cruise. <laughs> uh, we thought for a minute we were going to get rained out. Didn't Thankfully, happen. cleared up. We're good. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> That's ran up there. He would be talking to you. I'm just going to be driving. Any questions you have for us, please let us know. And again, on behalf of Rusty Anchor, thank you and welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, yes, uh, welcome. Glad to have you. This that is Lake dog. Dora. And if you look over to the right, right here, this is called Boathouse Row. Back in the day, fishermen would go out, they'd fish all day, come in, tie the boat home, untie the boat, and go home. Then they started thinking, wouldn't it be great if we could spend the night? So. That's what happened. Uh, this is what has transpired. Now, um, Lake Dora is part of a seven lake chain. It's the Harris chain of lakes. We're actually the second smallest in the chain. We're six miles long, two and a half miles wide, only about eight to 12 feet in depth, about 4,500 acres. We have lots of great fish. Uh, fishing is really big here. And we saw a lot more wildlife on that Alligators. one. Alligators. Uh, we saw an yeah. eagle and Yeah, eagle's there was a bald parents. eagle. Yeah. That's an osprey nest, and I think there's an osprey up top. Oh, it is. It certainly is. Folks, you can move around to take pictures. You don't have to stay seated. If I need you in your seats, I'll let you know. Thank you. Yeah, you can uh, you can see him right up top of the nest there. Uh, those birdhouses were put in by the Audubon Society for the Northern Wooden Duck. So when they migrate down, but somebody had to tell the ducks. Yeah. <laughs> this is for you. Maybe they should put I've never seen a duck in it. I've seen yeah. a snake sticking his head out of it. Oh, no. Now this uh, bird right here on the uh, pylon, that's an anhinga. That's a female, the golden brown neck. Okay, if you look over here to the left, the tall pine tree, there's an eagle oh, up there. there. Oh, I see him. Now, again, y'all feel free to walk around if you want to come up front to get a better view. See the bald eagle? Yeah. Everybody see it? You can now walk around. Isn't that crazy? Sometimes you'll hear them making their noises. See that? Did they say, excuse me? Yeah. Is that a eagle? Wow. Majestic, huh? And they're huge. Have you yeah. ever seen yeah, them fly? They, um, uh -huh. Well, Florida is number two in population nationwide. We're behind Alaska. They say they have oh, untold amounts up there. Oh, wow. I'm sure it was in the video you've already yeah. seen, but it was very neat. And um, he explains the chain of lakes in the middle of the state and how they run through eventually to the Atlantic. Um, which is pretty interesting. And um, you could on this one bring your own food and drink. I actually brought a pitcher of um, Cape Cods that spilled in my car before we got there. <laughs> so my car, uh, however many weeks later. Their car smells like we've been drinking, but we didn't get to enjoy smells anything. Smells like vodka. I mean, we had not a single drink <laughs> yes, of that whole thing. <laughs> So annoying. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so you can bring your own food and drinks. Very yeah. reasonably priced. Mm -hmm. It's a pontoon, so easy access. Yeah. And if you live in the middle of the state, you don't want to take maybe a one or two hour drive. Mount Dora is a nice, easy place to get to. You can do something in the afternoon or you can just go for the um, for the cruise. Yeah, it's and not so far out yeah, of the way that yeah, you can't just I would definitely recommend up. Mount Dora, the, yeah. the sunset cruise too. And if you're thinking, well, you can't really see the sunset. No, it was a it was beautiful spectacular. sunset. So it was I, hopefully mm -hmm. there will be good pictures mm -hmm. that you've seen already in right. here. Um, it was beautiful. And I really actually want to go again. They have a dinner cruise that yes. I'd love, love to do. Yeah. And they also have a paddle wheel which would um, be kind of fun, entertainment so, cruise yeah. uh, in Mount Dora. So I'd like to do yeah. all of those. Yes, we we kind of like Mount Dora. They got. Oh, yeah, a, I love Mount Dora. We figured out the place to get our martinis, and we figured out the place to get our Mexican food, and now we're figuring out the lake and how to have fun on the lake. So yeah, we really like Mount Dora, and highly recommend it. Uh, very much so. Mm -hmm.
And then the third of the cruises you've seen by now is the pirate cruise. It's, I think they called it Memos. Captain Memos, yeah. So it's M-E-M-O-S. So Captain Memos Pirate Cruise in Clearwater. It's in a ship. It's on a boat uh, based on a ship of a pirate ship. Right, so. big red. Mm -hmm. I guess that's a schooner. Yeah. I have no idea, but it is, um, it's in the tourist district of Pictures. Clearwater. <laughs> yep, right on the pier. So you're getting the tourist, you're in a tourist area vibe, where I did not get that, especially in Mount Dora. You Definitely don't get that Mount kind Dora. of like, oh, oh, I'm one of the tourists. Um, we dressed up, obviously. As because, pirates, yeah. as you've seen. How could you not dress up as a pirate? We were gonna... with the, what are they the called? The Irish uh, Celtic, the Suncoast Irish Celtic Club. It was that kind of vibe. They were all dressed up, too. Which However, was nice. my expectation going in is that everybody on the boat was going to be like that. You yes. know, that we had been encouraged to dress like pirates. Yeah. Uh -huh. So. I thought that meant everybody Everybody's was going to do that, up. and it was just this group of 18 people, right. not, and not even everybody in the 18 yeah. was dressed. Yeah, because it felt like they were all kind of tourists, that that was just an outing, tourist outing for Right. It. Yeah, that's the way I had felt it, too, when we got the tickets, but, you know, everybody was kind of like, oh, look, they dressed up, we should have dressed up, too, so. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, I, well, I thought we were supposed to, <laughs> yeah. so we oh, the fire and cruise. In a few moments, we are going to be getting boarded. Ahoy, mates, and this is Captain Memo the Pirate. And it's up to you to decide if I'm real or just an illusion as we go out to sea. <laughs> Treasure! Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. There be more. <laughs> oh my god, it's back
Look at that cloud there. Um, I did notice that um, we were up on the third floor, the poop deck, with the captain. Rose couldn't get up there. So on the pirate ship, there are mobility issues. There are flights of steps going to the bow section, flights of steps going up to the second floor. Um, so if you have a mobility issue, this is not a cru good cruise for you to go on. And uh, just plain and simple, it's just not good. Yeah, no, I agree. If mm -hmm. you have, I, yeah, I very much agree with that. Yeah. Um, and this one was about forty dollars. Is that what you said? Yeah, it was. It was thirty-eight dollars a piece. Yeah. The crew was super friendly, very super friendly. attentive. Mm -hmm. They um, had a lot of children's activities. And yeah, I mean, if you if want you to go with the family, kids, yeah. lots of. Mm -hmm. I mean, they entertained the kids the entire time. Yeah, they really did. But they and entertained they the kids the entire time. <laughs> music, no food, and the drinks were included with the price. Beer and wine was included with the price, but not mixed drinks. If you wanted a mixed drink, it was available, but you had to pay for it. Yeah, rum punch was $6. Yeah, so um, that's something to consider. Um, worthiness, so if you are a family and you want to be around a lot of young children, then great. And you want to spend 40 bucks per person? Um, it's a good cruise to go on. I, it was enjoyable. If I had been, if my kids had been younger, this would have been an ideal situation. To oh yeah, it'd to. be super yeah. cute if you mm -hmm. had kids, but mm -hmm. I—that's not what I was thinking right. it was. Yeah. And <laughs> Thank it you. Was, I'm trying to. Um, I better come back up. It here. was June in Florida, and we had to wait on the sidewalk, oh, it so and it hot. was hot. Um, <laughs> even at, we didn't get on board ship boat the boat until. 6.30, 7 o'clock, and it was it was a wait, and it was hot. I was thinking um, I was, I told Cindy earlier, I was thinking I was all cute and stuff, and then I went down into the bathroom and saw myself. I was like, nope, you just look like a hot mess. <laughs> I mean, I was all smitzing and ugh. But it was a pretty sunset. It was, um, it was long as far as the sunset cruise went. It was went. a two-hour cruise. Yeah, it was pretty. And he did stop. We were starting to go in and thinking, well, we're going to miss the sunset. But he did stop and turn around, and the sunset was pretty. So Yeah, um, yeah and we did actually yeah. go out into the Gulf. Yeah. I mean, it, mm -hmm. was, it was nice, just mm -hmm. not... What we were I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't do it again unless yeah. I knew that it was an adult-only cruise. Or if you had some of your nieces and nephews. Or oh, or right, yeah. or if I were there with mm -hmm. kids. But yeah. it, it, all of my kids are too old for yeah. this now. Yeah. I mean, my youngest is right. eight, so yeah. she might like it, but... Mm -hmm. So those were the three uh, sunset cruises that we went to. We pretty much covered the whole state with south, all the way as far south as you can get in Key West, the Gulf Coast, and the middle of the state. We only one, but uh, yeah, that so that pretty much covers the three places that we went on uh, sunset cruise in Florida. They're affordable. They're worth doing, and I personally love being on, in, near, around the water at yeah. all times. Mm -hmm. So my recommendation is do it. Yeah, just get up do on it. The couch and go and do it, <laughs> or get a, get in the pool. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> do it before it's too late. Right. Please like and subscribe <laughs> our channel. Uh, we're counting on you to do that so that we can keep this tide rolling. Roll, uh, roll tide. I would say roll no, tide, no, but, but we don't. I don't that's do, not I don't a thing for us. <laughs> I think it's in. Alabama. I, know. I think. But it's like, we got a roll. It's, I got rolls. I got, got plenty ties, of rolls. So. <laughs> they don't own that phrase. <laughs> Go bolts? I don't, I don't know. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Get out there and do it for us. Follow us on social media. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I don't think we'll ever get out of view in this pool. I know. Here's it's a rock pool. I can't get out. I can't get up. Go. <laughs> I mean, if you got out of the, if you got out around. of the float. Bye. Before it's too late, we're going now. No, we're not really going. We're just spinning around in a circle. <laughs>